Okay, welcome back to On The Ground. Um, so, welcome back to On The Ground. Uh, first thing I want to go over is uh, uh, scripture for today. Uh, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 is from the King James Version so every scripture is uh, inspired by God and is beneficial for proper doctrine and reassurance and correction regarding false doctrines and uh, instructions for doing what is right in the eyes of God simply put so uh, I want to thank God for another day and uh, if you don't know Jesus Christ I hope you uh, acknowledge him, believe in him, repent of your sins, and turn to God that you may be reconciled to God, acquire forgiveness, and be saved. I am not ashamed of my faith. I am not ashamed of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And, uh, yeah, so I want to make that clear. So, on to the first set of gloves. Hold on, I got something on my screen here something wrong here anyways it'll be all right for now to you so as you may have seen in my previous video or if you haven't uh, I did a overview and unboxing of a pair of Kuyu gloves I ordered uh, or purchased the uh, Kuyu more star uh, gloves so these are the gloves some of the gloves that they offer um, if we're looking at, I mean, these are, you know, depending on where you're at, you know, you know what your temperatures are, uh, whether you're cold natured, whether your hands get cold, uh, these are a variety of different gloves, uh, there's a lot of different gloves I'm going to cover, uh, I'm going to try to not make this long and just touch on a few things. Uh, per glove so it may be within a 20 or 30 minute period in total so anyways um, so here's some of their gloves uh, the Yukon Pro Glove the Kanai Packable Glove Super Down Pro Glass Englomit which I believe is their warmest uh, this Kan Kanai Packable Glove has Primo Loft which I found to be a good synthetic insulation uh, quite a few companies use it uh, it works quite well I don't know if it's as warm as down but it has it's about as warm and it still works or maintains uh, its thermal properties when it's wet so um, so I'm not saying that none of these other gloves aren't good uh, these packable ones for example I think they're pretty good I don't know if there's the warmest, but I'm, they may be okay. So you can look into them, uh, and maybe some of the things I want to discuss will uh, bring certain things to your attention, and then you can look from there. So this is kind of just to uh, bring things to your attention, this video, and uh, things to consider. Super Down Pro Glassing Glomit. Uh, they call it a glomit because it has this index finger separated from the other part of the mitt. These are pretty big gloves. I didn't see a lot of reviews uh, on YouTube about these. But uh, let me switch to a different camo pattern. This, uh, this is Velo. This is one of their camo patterns. These are the three main camo patterns QU offers. Velo, Vias, and Verde. So this is only available, hmm, doesn't seem to be uh, available in this uh, camo pattern until May 2024. So anyways, um, I like this camo pattern too, but uh, anyways, uh, on the glom on the index finger, it has a slip where you can actually stick your finger outside of this glomit mitten glove um which is something if you 
followed my other videos on the Sika incinerator flip mint, uh, I had issues with the the glove itself, the, the not the mint part. Uh, when I practiced shooting my bow, that it kind of slipped off the trigger on the release. So uh, that will I, that can be remedied by a little additional uh, applications uh, on my part, I believe. But uh, this one already allows you to actually take your finger out. So if you had a glove liner with touch uh, pad fingertip that actually worked on phone, because some of them I found just according to reviews it doesn't work on the phone. Uh, according to people that have bought, purchased some of these white glove liners and gloves that have those tips on them from various brands this one seems to allow you to actually take it out it doesn't seem to show anyone taking it out in any of the pictures but and uh, so it's made of quick down 25 ground body uh, which is down and premium life gold palm so, so it's kind of like a hybrid go over to the description the super down pro glassing glomit glove mitten changes the cold weather glassing game with water resistant and highly packable quicks down insulation windproof stunner stretch fabric I'm not familiar with that fabric and an independent index finger and thumb for added dexterity the index finger includes a slotted opening, which I mentioned, so you can free your finger for added dexterity while making the shot. The gauntlet length cuff with a cinch closure fits snugly over your jacket sleeve to keep the elements out. A high tear strength fabric adds increased durability and windproof protection to the outer shell. While silicone dots on the palm allow for a better grip. Designed for the most extreme temperatures, this glomit is a must have while hunting in challenging conditions. Let's go to features. It says 850 plus fill power water resistant goose down. Lightweight and packable. Glomit style with independent index finger and thumb. Slot to expose your index finger for taking a shot. Gauntlet style over jacket cuff for warmth. Oversized fit to layer under or wear alone. So, oversized fit to layer under or wear alone. No slip silicone grip dots. No, you know, it has silicone grip dots, but it's no slip. Removable wrist tether cinch cuff closure. Let's see details. Quicks down, Eastern European goose down, 25 gram body, Prima Life Gold insulation palm, stunner stretch fabric, KDWR water resistance. Now I've seen DWR and I see K DWR. I don't know the difference. Uh, I may do a separate video just on that and maybe this stunner stretch fabric and maybe some other uh, commonly used like Primo Loft, how it's used in Sika gear, uh, Kuyu, I believe First Light uses it, I don't know if Cabela's uses it, but there's a variety of other companies that actually use Primo Loft. Uh, Anyways, so that's kind of a brief overview of this glomit. I've considered getting this. Again, it comes in Velo, Verde, but that won't be to 2024 in May, and uh, Vias, which is what I have in the North Star Club. So uh, it's water resistant. It doesn't say it's waterproof, so if that's something that you're interested in, um, We'll go on to the next. This is the Ultra Merino uh, 210 glove. Could serve as a glove liner. I'm not going to really get into that. This is the North Star glove, which I got, which 
uh, again you can look into this uh, this is the expedition glove apparently according to this little tab on the lower right hand side of it near the wrist it has primo loft got x glove Yukon Pro Glove, Kenai Packable Glove, Super Down Pro Glass and Glomit, Tack Glove, um, Axis Glove, and Strong Fleece 2020 Glove. I think, or 220 Glove, my bad. Uh, I think this is, I don't know if this is no, but I think this is, they got some Strong Fleece clothes. So you can look at their apparel and see if anything interests you and look into it some of their prices are the same as or a little better than uh or and more than sika so but they seem to have good reviews as far as the quality of the material not in all things i found so but their gloves do seem to be a better selection than what i find with sika as far as um cold weather so here's the glomit version of the glove that uh, that I bought, uh, I considered this. Let's see. Let's oh, see some. I noticed with the Velo, it has a light gray, but uh, this is basically the same as the glove itself. Uh, let me see the weight: two thirty-five grams. 340 gram back 170 gram palm let me see how this compares to the glove 340 uh, description wait a minute maybe it shows down here 285 back 115 palm so the Gomp may be a little warmer than these if that interests you. So um so let's move on to the next. I don't want to spend too much time. We'll go to Sitka first. These are Sitka's gloves. They have the Mountain Glove, Stormfront GTX glove, Stratus glove, Gunner WS glove, Incinerator Flip Mitt. Which I have and did a review on. You can check it out if uh, you haven't. Has wind stopper, has a uh, Primo Off Gold insulation. You got the Pantanal GTX glove, Incinerator Muff, Traverse gloves, Merino 330 glove. I don't think they have any in stock. This is a new glove. Uh, Delta D GTX glove. Hudson WS Muff Downpour GTX glove. I also want to point out that this Merino 330 glove, this is as of December the 2nd, 2023. So they may come in stock later. Let me see if anything's changed. Nope, they don't have anything available at this time. But, uh, so let's go over Scent Glove. Okay, let's just focus on mainly their cold, cold winter gloves. Um, the flip mitt, I did a review on that. Uh, says warmth on their scales. You know, let's go to features. Weight 9.6 ounces. Windproof, uh, wind stopper, wind stopper uh, by Gore-Tex has proven to me to be effective and work well I do believe Primo off gold down insulation blend which is what this has well this is the blend I was thinking it's Primo off gold just a synthetic but this is the blend so uh, has Primo which is 40% Primo off silver insulation and 60% 60 650 feel water resistant duck down so um yeah that's what has in it but if you want to do the uh 
get a little bit more familiarity with my personal first-hand experience with using this glove and a field test uh, I did post that video about that these gloves I did not find to be as warm at around zero degrees as I thought they might would be so uh, but I do believe that they may be fine in the tw mid 20 degree weather uh, but uh, not in the teens and down to about zero with wind winds a big issue in uh, Wisconsin uh, and that wind can be brutal at times so let me go back up here to the top mountain glove um, uh, this glove has the wind stopper um, doesn't say much uh, has a 230 gram 17.5 which is a good merino uh, diameter size according to what they're advertising wool interior I don't know how warm this glove is let's see how they rate it well good performance it's not rated at their highest uh, level like the incinerator so this probably wouldn't be a, a real warm glove comes in subalpine and uh, open country maybe if you're active it may be fine storm gtx glove again subalpine and open country 83 dollars whistle a little warmer see waterproof three layer Gore-Tex shell uh, the palm and the main nylon polyester interior um, removable compression resistant fleece liner so it has a fleece liner that's removable seems like this one's centered more around being waterproof here yeah it shows you a picture right here of the removable fleece liner so that interests you uh, that's a glove the stratus we'll take a look at this one uh, see wind stopper uh, microgrid fleece liner doesn't mention anything about insulation so I don't know how warm that would be uh, flip mats see if there's any others I want to here's a duck these are pretty pricey Let's see what this one has Gore-Tex exterior this one does not appear to have insulation it does have the liner you can see here I guess it just depends on what go to uh, what your needs are let's go to the, the downpour GTX glove see what this one uh, Gore-Tex laminate four-way stretch woven polyester face with polyester it is an insulated glove. Prima Loft Gold Insulation. Uh, Prima Loft Technology. Prima Loft Produce Ultimate Insulation Technology. So, this is a, a scene review, I believe, uh, by someone that did a comparison between this. I think his channel is called uh, Not a Good Hunting Channel. That's the name of it if you want to look at that. He did a comparison, I believe, between this glove and the North Star glove, which I got. Um, he emphasized that the the North Star glove that he had, he struggled with getting the finger uh, into the on the trigger of his. I don't know if it's a crossbow or, or a rifle, so he looked for a glove that had a smaller index finger so he went with this one 
I believe he said it was noticeably not as warm as the Kuyu Glow. So, um, now so so their their cold winter gloves don't seem to per, uh, perform that well. Collars glove. Hmm. Probably mainly waterproof. Says features says it's warm. This glove does have Primo off products, uh, doesn't emphasize this Primo off technology. Uh, does not emphasize proper line ham up. Doesn't elaborate on uh, what specific it's made it's made from. It does have a, a liner. This may be an option. Does it have wind stopper? Let's see. No, it looks like it's fate, uh, focused on being waterproof. So uh, I, I want to point out before I move on. I've heard now this is not a cold winter glove, and I don't know from experience. Well, I went back, but I hear that the tra Traverse Glove, this one, uh, performs quite well for what it is. It's not a cold winter glove, but uh, whatever range that it's intended to be for it appears to perform good. People that own it like it. Uh, it may actually work on the phone because it has a different type of surface. Than, uh, than like the QU ones or those dotted uh, grip uh, applications of these gloves. So I don't know. But anyway, let's move on to First Light. Uh, so they have trigger flip mitt. I don't know if that's comparable. It's $70. Let's take a look at that real fast. Um, mainly for these ones, I'm mainly looking it's dexterity, water, and windproof mitt. Good possibility it is how it's built. Uh, 37.5 two layer knit fleece synthetic fleece 60 gram insulation waterproof shell tree stand water file what's designed for so I don't think it's quite the same type of glove or as warm I can't say from experience as uh, looks like it may be a little cold there in this picture they've got advertising as so Sometimes that isn't always a good indication. Here's a Brookstown glassing mitt um, from First Light. Ultra light, 800 fill, 37.5 active down tech. Let's go to, it comes in two colors, this brown and fusion. Says one size up, uh, probably for. Uh, well, it just says go in between. Or something. So let's see what it's made of. It says it's got a DWR finish. It's insulated mitt. Down tech insulation. Not familiar with that. We may do another screen recording of some of this uh, material and see what it's being described as and see if we can find uh, what other companies use this material try to find some reviews on some of this stuff uh, maybe how it's built spot and stall glassing you know so there's this one I don't I haven't done any read any reviews on this one but Hybrid glove, arrow wool, touch liner glove, 
don't know how effective that is. As far as touching your phone, I don't know about the Catalyst Soft Shell. I think some people like these fingerless merino gloves. Uh, for what they are, I mean. Uh, they may help with the inside of another glove as a liner. Um, 100% merino wool. Hmm. Maybe not a real durable glove. It may fall apart, you know, because it's just merino wool. But really, the, the, the glove, or actually the mitt, it's a guamet, another guamet, uh, glove mitt, uh, is the Grizzly 2.0 trigger mitt. I've heard both good and bad reviews of this. It has a liner. Uh, one, one review says that they could take their hand out of the mitt and their fingers could be freezing and numb and they could put it back in the mitt and within seconds, they claim, it would be warm. Another says they use this mitt on a hunt uh, and they were, I think they were hunting elk or something in the, the mountains of Colorado. I think that's where they was, or Wyoming, and uh, hunting something. And the glove got snagged, this part. It says it's a thin, cheap leather. It got snagged on a, uh, or they reached down to grab a log while they were climbing and it punctured right through the glove and exposed uh, their hand to the elements and was pretty much useless and then they said they had to resort to an older glove that wasn't wasn't that warm or wasn't as warm so it may have been warm before it was punctured I don't know but they gave a very negative review and they had a bad experience with it so if you're looking for a more durable glove you know, maybe it has better weather. This might not be for that. But if it's not an issue, this may be a warm mitt. So, based on the reviews. Let's see, the material. Uh, it's insulated. It's got DWR. Walking draw cord. Uh, traps odors. Human signature. And releases them when wandered. It says 4.5 layer, 37.5 active particle technology. Uh, material shearling wool. So this is first light uh, trigger mitt. Again, if I'm boring you, I may try to break this up. Or something so that you can come back and watch it later or you can just break you know skim over uh, the video and you know point out some stuff and then you can look into it yourself when you have time so I covered those Kuyu, Sitka and First Light oh one more thing with First Light uh, let's see what more results shows okay Here's a fingertip uh, merino glove liner, or you could use it for that. Uh, so you might want to look at that, $30, not too much. Alpine cold weather glove. Uh, I haven't looked much into this. If it uses the same leather as the mitt, I don't know that it does. Uh, it may not be as durable as some people would prefer. I don't know, that'd just be kind of something I would consider. <sighs> Looks like it may be similar to the Grizzly Mint, as far as DWR 37.5 active particle technology. It says it's insulated, doesn't say wool or Primo Loft or down or anything. Uh, 
I don't know much about that as far as reading reviews, but so let's go on to two other brands that I come across uh, and looking for a cold weather mitt. They're not necessarily hunting, hunting oriented or camoed, but uh, they are designed for cold weather. So one brand is called Hestra. Uh, maybe you're not that familiar with it. I think it's... Let me see if there's a bout. Because I think it's from like Europe. Uh, oh, okay. Down here at the bottom. About Hestra. Well, let's see what it says about Hestra. They're from Sweden. So. But, I mean, you can still buy them in the United States online. Not issue with that. So, let's go to men gloves. Not to discriminate or anything, but. Um, so, they have a, a lot of different gloves. Um, some of them are pretty expensive. Uh, first time I've seen these cashmere, but I wasn't looking for a glove like this. I was looking for, uh, stuff like it had wind stopper. I mean, they, they make, a quite a few gloves and mitts, but, um, uh, you know gauntlet ones and they just they make a lot but I think they're mainly uh, geared towards skiers and mountaineers and even people who go on expeditions um, they have quite a few mitts and gloves I'm just going to touch on a couple they have liners too and uh think other gloves that you can uh wear. This is a hundred and ninety dollar mitt I took a look at. Comes in black and gray. Um on their warmth scale down here it's seven out of eight durability, seven, eight mobility, waterproof. Um See if it describes features. Hmm. Gore-Tex. Uh, it's G-Loft is the insulation. I'm not familiar with what that is. But, uh, they also, I do believe, use Prima Loft, too, so... See, Astra. They look like they're built quite well, which stuff from Sweden and parts of Europe oftentimes are. It's one hundred ninety dollars for these ones. Uh you may be able to find them cheaper. I seen them at like REI and Backcountry and other online retailers, so you might be able to find them a little cheaper, or maybe just the same price. More products. Let's go back down here. There's so many gloves. Uh, sure. But I'm trying to find a cert certain ones that I looked at because there's a lot. Here's an altitude mitt, uh, Army Weather. Uh, there's Army Weather Blizzard. Let me see. This is a glove. Uh, I don't remember looking at this one specifically. G-Loft. Um. Built in China. 
has liners, includes a liner, and can battle, and it's uh, able to, you can, see, so you can buy liners from this company, too, so, different liners, so you don't have to, let me kind of, hiking, skiing, Outdoor hiking. Let's see. Army weather altitude. That's one. Let's see. Wind stopper pullover mitt. Some pullover mitts. Um, I think they make quality products. Is kind of one of the things, and they probably make quite a few really warm gloves and mitts. Uh, they do offer one specific mitt. It's almost three hundred dollars, but uh, it's for like I don't know if it's for like, but I know people that's one person that bought one that uh, they're going to an expedition in the Arctic, and this is <laughs> one of the gloves that are optioning. To you or are going to use. Um, here it is. Uh, the Army Leather Expedition Mitt, two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Uh, this is the warmest mitt they offer and make. It uses Primo Loft liner, a Primo Loft liner. Uh, let's see here. Hestra's warmest glove is designed for expeditions in Arctic environments and harsh winter weather. As an extra rugged army leather goat skin and soft shell fabric exterior and the palm is reinforced with kangaroo leather to withstand prolonged wear from ropes and equipment. So it's probably a lot more durable than the first light. Two removable liners help to provide maximum adaptable warmth. Inside the outer glove is a fleece thumb lining with g loft synthetic insulation that insulates and wicks away moisture. Next to the hand is a three finger lining made of ripstop polyamide with Primo Loft Gold synthetic insulation. It's lightly reinforced at the palm to also serve as a lightweight warm glove in a tent or a base camp when you're doing little tasks and resting after your day's exertions. With two separate liners, this glove is also easier to dry and wash. This model has a large cuff that keeps out snow and cold. The snow lock is easily adjusted with one hand, as is the wrist width. Hestra handcuffs, wrist strap, reduce the risk of losing your glove on the mountain. The Army Leather Expedition Mint is our favorite among alpine climbers, ski mountaineers, and outdoor professionals who spend long days outdoors in severe cold. So, it's built or manufactured in China, but... Uh, we look stitching that uh, seems to be built okay probably not necessarily the ideal glove for hunting because it's not camo and stuff I don't know how loud it would be but it would definitely probably be warm they have some other gloves that's not quite as expensive, like a hundred and seventy some dollars. Uh, let me see real fast. Or a mitt or a garment that I was looking at too. So if you didn't want to quite spend that much. They have some pretty nice gloves. I've I'd say their stuff's pretty high quality for what it is. Just isn't necessarily oriented towards hunting as much. 
living in very cold area this is another one I looked at it's not quite as much uh, army leather extreme mitt does come in black features I don't know if it has uh, Primo off Uh, it doesn't G loft is all it is. Okay, uh, warmth is eight out of eight, so probably pretty warm. Um, let's go back, look at it. Come in black and white, or just black. Okay, so let's go to another brand. It's common among skiers, Black Diamond. Uh, so, they offer quite a few 67 gloves as the results for men. Uh, let's see. I did see. Let's see here. I think Absolute Mitts is the warmest ones they offer. Not that you would need the warmest, but these are some of the ones that uh, that I looked at. They have a lot of options. I don't know about the quality, durability, how well they would hold up in the real world and harsh conditions. But uh, as I mentioned before, a lot of these companies use a lot of the same materials. This one uses, uh, for their insulation, they use 340 grams of Primoloft Cadenci, I don't know how you pronounce that, on the outer shell and the inner shell is 200 grams of Primoloft Cadenci. Gold or goat leather palm with Kevlar stitching. Gore-Tex insert with XCR product technology. It's waterproof, breathable. Not familiar with that. The XCR and not too familiar with this Condensi. I looked it up a little bit. It's uh, something to do with uh, radiation, radiating barrier or something it's uh, a little different so uh, I don't know uh, but it's expensive and that type of insulation based on my research of what little bit I did do uh, products or clothing or whatever uses this Primoff Condensi tend to be really expensive and some people were emphasizing they didn't think that it was uh, that it worked in all situations because of how it works. Uh, so I don't know. Let's see if we have the option of, well, doesn't give the option of picking um, what types of insulation on the search results. But this is a black diamond. You can look into what they have. Maybe you'll find something there more in price range I don't know I do think let me look once again uh, let's see what guide finger gloves offer uh, details see it uses premium off gold insulation boiled with wool blend so my point is, is they offer gloves with other types of insulation. That that one was just a, what they used for it is their most expensive one. So, um, so they offer uh, a lot of gloves uh, that you might want to take a look at because they may work well in cold and really cold environments. Maybe you don't hunt or maybe you don't care if they're uh, camouflaged or anything. Uh, they may offer something that you like. 
that's another potential option. Um, I wanted to go to another brand. This is Outdoor Research. Uh, I don't know a whole whole lot about uh, this company, um, but I do know that. Uh, That they do tend to offer some stuff that caught my attention with the stuff they use but this one uh, obviously it's uh, $339 it's expensive but it's called the Prevail heated Gore-Tex mitts uh, I read up on it and it's battery powered warmth is Rate is extreme, durability, stretch, waterproofing, so so. See if it talks about that's what it looks like. You can look more at it later. You know, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick overview. Read the description here. Uh, the pre. Prevail heated Gore-Tex mitts keep your hands protected and warm on the most frigid days. These gloves feature Alta Heat, battery-powered heat technology, and rechargeable lithium-ion batteries stored in a separate zipper pocket for customized warmth. They have a waterproof, windproof Gore-Tex insert to keep your hands dry and a water-resistant leather palm for added durability. It says touchscreen compatibility allows smartphone use with removing the gloves and a glove clip and removable leash keep them close by while snacking on the chair lift for walking through the parking lot. Whether riding in nasty weather at the resort or shoveling the driveway on a cold winter day, the Prevail heated Gore-Tex mitts protect hands from the elements. Uh, outer material, it's two liter, I don't know what that is. Woven 100% polyester and 100% nylon. Palm WR, goat leather, water resistant, I suppose. Waterproof insert, Gore-Tex insulation, Enduraloft, 100% polyester, 333 grams, 133 grams. Uh, lining 100% polyester fleece, 320 grams. It weighs 10 ounces and it's made in Cambodia. So let's see what they have aside from that real quick. Um, that's the heated ones. Uh, there's some heated gloves. Uh, work gloves. Gore-Tex gloves. Let me see if I can find another mitt that's not heated. Gore-Tex mitts. Those are 90. Let's see what's in this one. Much more waterproof. Um, let's see specs. Hmm. Not seeing down or primo loft or any other kind of known insulation for those ones. I'm trying to see what if they use anything like that. Let's see. Cold front down mitts. Let's see. <sighs> Different colors. <sighs> Warmth. So Outer material, 100% recycled polyester, 20D ripstop, insulation, RDS certified, 650 fuel down. I don't know. I don't know much about their products, never use it, don't own anything from outdoor research. But I do think they offer some stuff, whether in their gloves or maybe in other things that 
are pretty good and have good reviews. Um, there's another brand I want to look at that I don't have pre-selected. Uh, see how about these hundred and eighty dollar ones. More waterproof, warm specs. See this one uses Primo Life Gold insulation, three hundred forty grams. So I mean they they use various different materials, so you know, you just have to kind of look through. But, you know, the point of this video is to kind of bring other things to your attention. Uh, so you might be more aware of other options that you have outside of Kuyu and um, First Light and Sitka. Uh, so far... Sika seems to uh, be coming up short in the glove department. I can't yet say for Kuyu or First Light. I don't know that I'll buy anything from First Light as far as their gloves or mitts. But uh, they offer outdoor research. They offer a variety of gloves. Now, let's go to, uh, I don't know if this company offers gloves or not, Stone Glacier. We'll see if they do. Uh, hunting gloves see what they have uh, see what the altimeter mitts are again uh, they use the uh, Primo Loft waterproof insulated mitt system worn in extreme cold and wet conditions uh, a dark tempered hole with waterproof three layer hydro shield shells and remove a removable <laughs> primo off cross core synthetic insulation liners so cross core technology there's another Marka gloves feature AX synthetic suede, Dratex, Hydro Shield, Primo Off. This is cross core, doesn't. Merino wool, Merino six. I don't know. I mean, some of their stuff has pretty good reviews, like uh, some of their other apparel. I don't know about their about their uh, mitts or their gloves. I figure their their gloves are basically the same as their mitts, just in glove style. I just thought about them and I wanted to check them out. So let's go to uh, REI uh, because they carry several brands uh, they carry Black Diamond Outdoor Research North Face uh, they offer Smart Wool I mean they offer just a lot of different Hestra uh, other brands I'm not that familiar with or heard of I'm not saying they're good or bad don't know um Nah. Small gloves. Looking okay, insulated. Uh, 
Let's see if I can't find some real fast that uh, that appealed to me. It's a brand I haven't already touched on. Um, Five hundred dollars. Uh, Hellfire gloves, heat touch. I'd say these are probably battery operated heated gloves. Never heard of them. Uh, yeah, it says three heat settings. Uh, low, green for low, yellow for medium. It tells you about how long they last. Doesn't specify the type of insulation. But, uh, so, I covered on a number of different brands. There's one more place I want to briefly go over. Uh, just looking. There's other things to look at. Uh, let's go check, see what Carhartt offers uh, I don't know much about their glo what gloves they have uh, gloves say insulated I don't know if they offer anything good any kind of mitts maybe yeah much cheaper at least the ones I've seen so far pipeline insulated of course their gloves are more oriented to work which is typically more active um, trying to say look for the more expensive ones may give me a little better idea of uh, here's an eighty dollar glove gauntlet glove okay toddler mitt okay let's uh okay Yukon Extreme Storm Defender insulated ghost okay I've seen some of their Yukon stuff mentioned before, so I can't seem to see the palm too well on that. Let's see what it's made out of. Sorry, my ear was itching a little bit. Yukon Extremes features 3M Thinsulate, featherless insulation, and durable quarter fabric. Where? So, it doesn't cold snap insulated glow. Let's see what that is. Around almost $50. Well, it doesn't emphasize much. Uh, so, all right, let's go to Cabela's and see what they have. I was looking at their Stan Hunter gloves for man. Uh, they're like the wool of might mitts, I guess you call it. Uh, their insulation is 3M Thinsula insulation, 1,000 gram on back of hands, 200 gram on palms. Show more. 77% polyester, 23% wool shell with 
soft goat leather palm. Premium leather palms and overlays. I want to also mention that the description by a lot of these companies is their their description about durability, premium, or whatever. Uh, that's not my own description. I don't know. Maybe it's true. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's not uh, to certain people's standards. I don't know. Let's go back to their glove selection. This is Cabela's Brands. So these gloves are probably, let's see, I would think they're similar to their mitts, but just the glove version. Um, foremost wind shear. I don't think the other advertises or mentions that. It's being a little slow to respond here. They look very similar as far as the exterior, exterior material. Um, highly wind resistant liner. Yeah, it seems to be the uh, same material. Waterfowl gloves, those may be warm. Um, Decoy gloves. These Godwear Ortex and Finian Windstopper half finger fishing gloves. Hmm. So they do have Infinium Windstopper in it to some extent. But that's just the Cabela brand. They have, uh, let's see, what other brands do they carry? Cabela's 5.11 Tactical Action Heat Action Heat 25. Uh, so they have in alphabetical order a lot of different gloves on their website. So uh, brands. So I mean. I, I don't know. Let's see. Does it have the option of cold weather? Okay. Cold weather. Uh, striker ice. Striker gloves. Climate. Orphan extreme mittens. Columbia Snow Deal. Let's try these Norfin Extreme Zip Mittens for Men. I've never heard of them. Uh, 280 grams of synthetic down insulation. Uh, what they're uh, advertising here. Don't know if they're any good. You know, depends on maybe the temperatures. That's another thing. It depends on what temperatures. Uh, it would be nice if they would give a, a accurate rating on these gloves. At what temperatures they're good for. Um, but, uh, but they don't. So... Uh, that was me just covering uh, a variety of different brands uh, and things like that. Some that I've come across. Um, I don't really know of too many other brands or gloves at this time. Not saying they're hidden. You can put some down in the description and mention them. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's just a brief overview of me uh, pointing out a variety of different gloves. Um, again, you can come back to this video and watch it later if you got bored. I know it's kind of lengthy. I, even I was getting tired, but uh, if you follow all the way through, um, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so... 
I'll probably do a follow-up video, uh, you know, because this could be boring. But this 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 video is just to bring uh, different brands and some of the gloves that they offer and different types of insulation and things like that um, to your attention uh, if you're looking for uh, cold winter gloves and uh, what options you have and price ranges and things like that so uh, I'll see you again here next time on on the ground